So close, man. So, so close. Arsenal were this close to escaping out of Manchester, out of the Etihad with all three points. But it wasn't to be today. Full-time Arsenal 2, Manchester City 2. We need to talk about this because before going into this game, I think everyone thought it wasn't going to be an amazing game. We've seen games like this before between these two sides. We saw Arsenal go to the Etihad last year and didn't really try and have a go. They just sort of sat back and accepted and, and, and went for a draw, it felt like. And obviously, it ended up being nil-nil. It's always quite... Well, since they start, since Arsenal started to become good again, it started to be sort of low-scoring games, etc. So... My expectations going into this game wasn't it wasn't going to be like for me. I didn't think it would be this high scoring, cagey affair with red cards, with all sorts kicking off between the players, the managers, etc. But we need to digress because I feel bad for Arsenal, man, and more importantly, I feel bad for David Raya. We're going to touch on him later because I think David Raya is unbelievable at the minute. He's certainly proven a lot of people wrong. He's Proving the um, the Aaron Ramsdale lovers, obviously Aaron Ramsdale's all right, but bringing in Raya for Ramsdale, unbelievable shout. At first, I wasn't a massive fan, not of the way they, they got rid of Rams, not the way that they brought Raya in. Sorry, like I just didn't think Arsenal could win a title with David Raya in goal. But now my whole perception of that has changed. That can happen in football. My opinions change. I think David Raya is a very very capable goalkeeper. I think he is one of the world's best. After that performance and after the the performance midweek in the Champions League. He's shown he can do it on the big stage, but that's enough about David Ray for now. We need to get into the game because a lot of stuff happened, starting off with the City goal very early on. Let's talk about that Savio, that Savio touch, by the way. <sighs> he he's he's some player, Savio. Uh, the ball gets fizzed into him, he's sort of like on the touchline, he touches it with his left foot, and it just completely takes Calafiori out of the game. So and then for some reason, I need to know about this actually, like the like if any Arsenal fans watch this video. The, the gap between Saliba and Gabriel for that first goal, for Haaland's goal, I, I've never seen that before between them two in specifically. Or a lot of centre-back partnerships in the Premier League, they're never that far apart. There was a massive gap between those two. And Haaland obviously got played in by Savinio, who, unreal touch, unreal pass, the, the agility of him, straight into Haaland. And he's never missing one-on-ones, man. Never missing one-on-ones. He sort of just pokes it with his left foot past Raya Gabriel, sort of gets bullied and shrugged about. And to be fair, Gabriel struggled with Haaland for the first 20, 25 minutes. I think Haaland definitely had the better hand of him. He was sort of bullying him a little bit until Gabriel started to grow into the game a little bit. But at first, it was all Haaland. He was sort of shrugging him off a lot. But then we have this sort of incident with Rodri. City get a corner. Um, and it's, it's sort of crossed him, but it's Rodri and Party I think, are going for the ball. And Rodri has done his knee in. Um, he looked in absolute agony. Um, we're going to have to wait and see what sort of injury it is. It looks to me like an ACL potentially, uh, unfortunately for City fans. Um, it, it, sort of, it wasn't anyone's fault either. He sort of just gets his leg caught in the grass and I think twists his knee maybe or hyperextends his knee, something like that. I'm not, I'm not really sure what the injury was. I just know he got his foot caught in the grass and his, ne- his knee sort of twisted. It was an off-the-ball thing, so... We'll have to see what the deal is with that one. So Rodri goes off, Kovacic comes on. The game sort of changed a little bit because you're losing Rodri, man. He's like one of the most important players for City, uh, if not in in the Premier League. He's the most important player for that City team, I, I do believe. I, I, maybe Haaland, actually, to be fair. If, without his goals, obviously, City don't be where they are. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, got into lose Rodri, a player of that calibre. We need to know the extent of the injury, I think. So we'll wait and see what, what that's about. And then Arsenal had some sort of, I don't know, they just sort of switched on a bit. I think as soon as Rodri went injured, went off injured, bang, something changed. I think Arsenal just switched on a little bit. Whether Arteta got him in a little huddle or something, or took players, something something clicked uh, for Arsenal. And I think their first goal, there was a bit of controversy behind it. I think a free kick gets given. Michael Oliver, the referee, who was, to be fair, not great today. I think he was under a lot of pressure by the crowd of both sets of fans. I think he got a lot of things wrong, got some things right. But I don't know. I, th- I think the game was too big for him today. It sort of it sort of swallowed him up a little bit. Um, he calls both the captains over. Um, and obviously, he's talking to them. Kyle Walker's obviously the city captain. He's get, he gets brought over. After the conversation's finished, he starts to head back to his position. But... He lets the free kick play when he's not in position, I think, is what Kyle Walker was complaining about. So I think Party just hits one over the top to Martinelli to chase. 
He obviously gets there first. He outpaces Walker because he's got that extra yard on him. He just cuts it back. And Ricardo Calafiori, man, what a goal that was. Where did that come from? Left foot, swings it, curls it top corner to the far to the far corner. Unbelievable goal from Calafiori. Credit to him. Controversy around the goal, yes. Do I think it should have been brought back? I don't know. I mean, he did obviously have a word with Walker. I think you've got to wait for Walker to get back into his position before you can play on. I think that's only fair. You can't be calling it... You can't be letting... And to be fair, he didn't even blow his whistle. He didn't need to have taken a quick free kick, but at least wait for Walker to get back in position is what I would say. Um, but enough of that first goal. It stood, but there's not a lot you can do about it. The second goal is where... I don't know. I, I think it's really poor from Kyle Walker. Um, obviously, you can't blame the first one on him. He can't do anything. But that second goal, him marking Gabriel is a recipe for disaster. Anyone marking Gabriel, in fact, because he always gets to the ball from this corner. Whoever takes it, Saka, Declan Rice, whatever side, Trossard, corner, set pieces. Gabriel's the danger man. They always aim for Gabriel and he bullies everyone. I think when, when it's a corner, when it's a set piece, Gabriel doesn't care who's in his way straight in, he's straight in, we saw it a minute before his goal, I think, two minutes before his goal, he had a similar chance as well from a corner, which he, we ended up putting wide, but this one, precision, the ball from Saka's unbelievable, the header from Gabriel, the way he bullies everyone, he just shrugs them out the way, gets to the header, and it's 2-1 Arsenal, just like that, just like that, Arsenal go 2-1 up, and then the game sort of dies a little bit, right on the stroke of half-time, now, in the 52nd minute, I think there were seven minutes added on in the first half, something like that. So it's right at the end of the first half. This is why I remember it, because Trossard gets sent off for a second bookable offence for, one, a foul on Bernardo Silva, I think. It, well, it was a foul for me. And then, second of all, he kicks the ball away as well. So I don't think there were two bookings. He already got booked earlier in the game. But I think both of those things could be down as bookings anyway. So even if you say, oh, this person kicked the ball, this person kicked the ball away as well, I don't think it works like that because I think he would have got booked anyway for the foul on Bernardo Silva. He wasn't really looking at the ball. He just moves him out of the way. It is a problem. It could be a yellow card offence. So regardless of him kicking the ball away, it still probably is a yellow card for the foul anyway. That's all I'm going to say. I think it ruined the game a little bit. He shouldn't have done it. Arsenal should, shouldn't be like hugging him or unlucky. He shouldn't have done it. He needs to know. Rice got sent off for a similar thing the other week, didn't he? So he needs to know. Though. He needs to know. Don't kick the ball away, ever. At first, I thought it was half-time, and that's why he was kicking it away. So I looked away. I thought he was just booting it because the whistle was for half-time. But no, I don't know what the deal is. It sort of ruined the game a little bit, but I can see both sides of it. That's all I'm going to say. That's where I sit on it. I, I don't normally sit on the fence, but I am sitting on the fence a bit here. Trossard, silly. Was it a red card? Probably, because I think the, the foul was probably a, a second yellow as well. Shouldn't have kicked the ball away, etc. It's all just a bit thingy. And then the second half, I mean... What what more do you want? City are playing against 10 men. Arsenal takes Saka off at half-time to bring Ben White on. So they've now got Ben White, Calafiore, Timber, Saliba and Gabriel. They've got that back five, which is a very, very strong defence. They've then got Rice and Party, Martinelli and Havertz as well. So they're all just running around like headless chickens. They sort of gain the, the defensive unit a little bit and then they just sit back. I mean, what more can you do? I think it was an unbelievable defensive performance up until... The last minute, which we'll talk about in a minute, I think. Everyone just played well for Arsenal in that second half. And it's a shame the Etta can see right at the end. Because I think, especially for David Raya today, I think he really deserved those three points. I, I think he really did. I, I'd still give him a man of the match today. I think David Raya was, was class today. Um, again, like I said, I've changed my opinion on him. I, I think he is a very, very, very good goalkeeper. And he deserves all the plaudits today because, yeah, having to d deal with all these shots coming in from everywhere, dealing with dealing with the crosses as well, which I think was underrated. He come out for every cross and he won every single one. Corner, free kick, he was always there, David Rea. So credit to David Rea today. Arsenal, you've got your hands on a very good goalkeeper. I know you had him last year, but I think he's proper stamping his mark down now this year. And then it gets to, right to the end. Man City get the equaliser. Water's wet. I mean, it was always going to happen. It was, just, it was just how long Arsenal could hold on for. And they just couldn't do it. 96th minute. They take a quick uh, corner. Grealish has it. Fires it across. It's all just like pinball. And then John Stones manages to put it into a pretty much an empty net. So there you go. 2-2. Two, two. Um, what do you think of the game? I thought Arsenal were unlucky. I think, you know, City didn't do much. Considering they were playing 10 men, I know Arsenal had everyone behind the ball, but they should, it was just Ruben Diaz and Akanji passing it back back to each other. 
Ruben Diaz, by the way, there was a few times he just kept shooting or kept crossing it straight to Raya. He didn't have a great game today. But 2-2, final score. What do you think? What's, what's that for the title race now? What does that mean for the title race? I don't know. I think if City won today, I think genuinely I would have said over. City have won the league. But with the draw, it would have been better if Arsenal won. But they'll take a draw, I think. With 10 men for half the game, I think they'll take a draw. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you next time.